Software Spring Presence How to create a pivot table in Google Sheets Hello folks, greetings. Welcome to this tutorial, which gives the steps to create a pivot table for data analysis with examples. Here are the topics of this tutorial. What is a pivot table? How to create a pivot table? What are the elements of a pivot table? How to use pivot table elements for data analysis? Quick review. What is a pivot table? A pivot table is a table with some or all headers and data from the source table for calculation and in-depth data analysis. For example, this pivot table has the item header and the table has been set up to calculate the sum of inventory. How to create a pivot table First, select the headers and data for which you want to build a pivot table. Click Insert, Pivot Table. Specify whether you want to create the pivot table in a new sheet or the existing sheet. I will use existing sheet in this tutorial because it helps to see the original data and the pivot table data. I will move this dialog to the left to specify the data range. Click a cell to specify the starting cell of the pivot table. Click Create. Google Sheets has inserted a blank pivot table and has also opened the pivot table editor with fields from the source table. What are the elements of a pivot table? The four elements of a pivot table are rows. Drag one or more headers here if you want the corresponding data to be displayed in a row. Columns Drag one or more headers here if you want the corresponding data to be displayed in a column. Values Drag one or more headers here if you want to calculate some, average, or others. And filters Drag one or more headers here to filter data. How to use pivot table elements for data analysis. Objective Get total inventory by items. Drag and drop item field here. Drag and drop inventory below values and close the pivot table editor. There you go. Google Sheets has instantly displayed the total inventory. Objective Get total inventory by item and all vendor codes. Because item is already added to the pivot table, now we need to add only vendor codes. Click Edit. Drag and drop vendor code field below rows and close the pivot table editor. Okay, here's the total inventory by item and vendor codes, and the grand total. Say, you do not want these subtotal. Here are the steps to remove the subtotal. Move the cursor over pivot table, and click edit. Uncheck show totals. Close the pivot table editor. Objective. Get total inventory of items relating to vendor code E6189. Move the cursor over pivot table and click edit. First, let's start from a clean slate by removing all the elements in the pivot table editor. Click the X mark to remove the field. Now, Let's drag and drop item field below rows. Next, 
drag and drop vendor code, again below rows. Uncheck show totals. Lastly, drag and drop inventory, below values. Close the pivot table editor. All the vendor codes are displayed. However, we want data related only to vendor code E6189, which means we have to set up a filter. Click edit. Scroll down till filters option is visible. Drag and drop vendor code, below filters. Click status field. Click clear. Click this vendor code, and click OK. There you go. Google Sheets has displayed the total inventory of items pertaining to this vendor code. Quick review. A pivot table, assists in detailed data analysis. Build a pivot table, with only some, or all of the headers and data, of source table. Drag table headers, below pivot table rows or columns, to display data in rows or columns respectively. Drag table headers, below pivot table value, to calculate some, average, or others. Drag table headers, below pivot table filter, to filter data. That's it folks. Thank you for watching this video. Please subscribe to this channel.